This question gives us the transfer function h of, a, h of z and we're asked to find the impulse response h of n. Now, if this was a simpler expression, we could look it up in the table of z transforms, but this, as it stands, isn't available in the table, so we'd need to somehow simplify it. So one thing we could try doing is to factorize the denominator. So we're, we're, we're trying, perhaps, to simplify using partial fractions. Okay, so this is one way to try to find the inverse Z-transfer. So in this case, the polynomial in the denominator is easy to factorize, Z plus 1, Z minus 4. There's no point doing anything to the numerator. Now, because we have this z squared in the numerator, what we can do is divide h of z by z, just to make it easier. So if I were to divide that by z, I could remove that z there and that there. That just makes it easier to do the partial fractions. So I could then write that as a over z plus 1 plus b over z minus 4, because each of these is available in the uh, z transform table. So if I knew a and b, I could simply say h of n equals a times minus 1 to the power n plus b into 4 to the power n and all of that would be multiplied by u of n. So the problem really is just finding the constants a and b. Otherwise the, the, the general form of the answer is pretty clear because each of these are available in the table. So, let's do some partial fractions. We would write it out in this form, a into z minus 4 plus b into z plus 1 equals 2z minus 3, 2z minus 3 being that numerator there. And then we could substitute z equals minus 1, and z equals 4. So for z equals minus 1, you simply substitute minus 1 here and here. That gives us a times 5, so a equals 1. And if you substitute z equals 4, Four plus one is five. Again, you get B equals one. So we simply replace A here with one and B here with one. And that's our final answer. That's our transfer function found using the Z inverse Z transform assisted by partial fractions. So that there's your final answer.